to add some mixed numbers. Um, so first I'm going to uh, add the plain number part, and 1 plus 2 is 3. And then I need to worry about adding 3 fifths plus 5 eighths. Um, and I like to turn it this way to add fractions. So I can't add them the way they are because they're cut in different sized pieces. And I can't add something that's been cut in five pieces to something that's been cut in eight pieces because I'm adding different things. So I need to change them to be cut in the same size pieces. So I'm looking for a number that both eight and five will go into evenly. And I want the smallest possible one. Well, in this case, I don't really have a small one. 40 is about the best I can do. And you can always get one by multiplying the two numbers together, 8 times 5. And that's what we ended up with in this case. So then I look and I say, well, what do I have to do to the 8 to get to 40? I have to multiply times 5. What I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. So 5 times 5 is 25. And what do I do to the 5 to get to the 40? I multiply times 8. So what I do to the bottom, I do to the top. And 3 times 8 is 24. Um, now I go ahead and add 24 and 25. Gives me 49 fortieths. And I can tell by the fact that the top number is bigger than the bottom number that I have a whole number in there. And so I can go ahead and make this um, a mixed number, I'm going to take 140 out, and I will have 9 fortieths left. Um, now as I look at that, 9 fortieths, um, there isn't anything that will go into both 9 and 40 evenly, and so it's simplified. But I can't forget my 3, and so I add that onto my 1, so my total answer is 4 and 9 fortieths, and that is adding mixed numbers.